Now that we've created a pipeline, it's time to fill it in with all the data that we're tracking throughout our process. In this lesson, we'll show you the fastest way to add all of our data and emails to our pipelines. We just finished creating our pipeline and it's looking pretty empty, so we'll use the quick add option to add data and start tracking our leads in minutes. Streak shows us a list of people and companies that we probably want to track because we've recently emailed with them. Each person on our team will see suggestions from their own inbox that they can add to our pipelines. Having our whole team help out with this makes it really fast and easy to add all of our leads so our pipeline will be full of data in minutes. Depending on what we want to track, we can add companies or we can add individual contacts based on their email address. Let's take a closer look at these new entries. Each person or company that we just added is a new row in our pipeline. The row is named after them, and Streak also created a contact or organization for each person or company that we added. Contacts and organizations are stored in their own column, and they show us if that person or company is in any of our other pipelines and how many email threads they've already had with our team. On top of that, Streak pulls in their contact information into this pipeline and auto-enriches this information with any publicly available data. If anything needs to be updated, we can go in and edit contact details like their phone number or title right here. Check out our contacts and organizations video to learn more about managing people and companies in Streak. Heading back to our new pipeline rows, we can see that a bunch of data has already been added to some of our columns. These are called magic columns because Streak automatically fills them in for us, and each one has a sparkle icon next to the column name. Anytime we see the sparkle icon, it means Streak is adding data automatically. Our contacts and organizations also have a sparkle next to their names, which means that their emails with our entire team are automatically pulled into this pipeline. For example, we can see that Streak has pulled in three email threads with our contact Maya, the date of the last email was September 3rd, and it was sent by our colleague Franklin. Clicking the icon to the left of the row name opens up the box for Maya Keith, where we can see all of those emails automatically added in the timeline. This is super helpful when we're beginning to work with a new lead, so we get the full picture of our team's communication with this contact. As our whole team keeps adding rows to our pipeline, Streak pulls in contact and email data automatically so we can start prioritizing work and reaching out to our leads in minutes. Check out the following lessons to learn more ways to add rows and import data from a spreadsheet using the Streak Importer tool.